This is Mary at the Marriottier. And I believe there's a train coming. Good morning. This is Mary at the Marriottier. And today is Tuesday, November the 12th. Tuesday, November the 12th. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Okay, yesterday, oh, did you get to watch Dee Dee Willingham yesterday? Oh, my goodness, she sketched these animals on the envelopes. I think she did close to, what was it, 12 sketches uh, of envelopes. She took requests. Uh, well, what she did actually was uh, she sketched, and then she let the person that she sketched the envelope choose somebody else to sketch an envelope for them and and so each person that got their envelope sketch got to choose the next person and that was really fun to watch i really enjoyed that dd Dee Dee, if you happen to be watching this um <clears throat> then then i watched janet young so i almost spent the entire day yesterday online watching videos <laughs> i did get in here last night and sketch a little in my scrapbook which was really just a time away from me but while i was watching janet at monkey island madness she was doing jelly plating with these um color shift paint folk art color shift paint and uh, boy some of those really turned out beautiful but while i was watching her while I was watching her, I found the December Gem Journal. And this journal I will be working on, and I hope to give it away toward the end of November for December can work in it. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It has four signatures, and I will be working on this side of the page I will be working on this side of the page and then I'll leave the other side of the page blank for the recipient of the journal and so there's enough pages in here for me to do one page in December if they so wish uh, I I'm not asking or requiring or anything like that it's a gift of a journal to do with as you wish so I'll probably have a giveaway for it, I hope, toward the end of November. I see a couple of these pages are kind of stuck together. That's okay. I just haven't gone through them yet to pull the borders apart. So, yeah, I am so, so, so looking forward to that. This is metallic paint on the, on the border here, so I haven't pulled them. When I painted them, I dried them, stacked them up, and there's just a bit, that'll work out as we go here. So, yeah, very happy with this. Here's the one I did for myself. It only has, uh, and I will be working on this in December itself, and it has all the pages. See, this has been done for couple weeks and these pages are and that's how that one will be so yeah this is really this is going to be fun I'm so looking forward to doing these however here's the one that I'm doing for November and today is November the 12th and so I need to work on day 12 and I think day 12 was Pilgrims and Indians, the challenge. I give a challenge. I give a challenge. So I zoom in a little bit here so you can see this a little better. I, uh, I have my cursor here. Let 
one more. There we go. I had it zoomed out so you could see my desktop. I'm going to work on my desktop today. But I do one page for every day, and I'm trying to keep the prompts really, really simple. So you can just sit down and, and pop it out. And you can interpret the prompt. Now, um, some of these uh, are kind of specific to the states. Pilgrims and Indians is really a, an American thing for Thanksgiving. So in my challenge, I made, if you're doing this and you're international, I made it a free page. You can do whatever you want. And you can interpret the prompt Pilgrims and Indians any way you want. So let's, I just feel like working on this. Let's just give this a quick. And that's that's what it should be. It's just a quick. Did I get it? Have I had anybody in here yet? Let's check my chat. I don't say good morning to anybody. No. Am I unlisted again? <laughs> Am I public? Uh, let's see if I'm public here. I have to check my channel, check my, uh, check my settings. Hold on a second. Oh, there you all are. I see you now. Okay. See, I don't understand how. All of a sudden, when I say I have to check my settings, all of a sudden, there you pop up. Um, well, I picked up my, this YouTube thing. I don't know. Your channel. Because you certainly, there was nobody there a minute ago. There, I got eight people in here. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I. It said zero people and there was nothing in the chat. Hi, Stephanie Richards. Best of all mornings to you all, she says. Great way to enjoy a cup of coffee and enjoy the color and artistry in Mary's creation. Well, really, it's it's not my creation. It's God's creation. But thank you. <laughs> Aww. Aww, thank you, Ray. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Bethany. Hi, Arlene. Good morning. Hi, Mitzi, Mitzi, and Ray, and Arlene, and Mitzi. There you are. Uh, there you are. Today is the 12th. All right. Well, yeah, uh, today's the 12th, and I guess we were talking about Dee Dee did 12, 12 envelopes in her. And, I, I mean, she just, she, uh, Don Calvin from Let's Make a Mess was in there. And uh, she said, it's like magic. And it really is. Dee Dee just, those, those, as you watched, I mean, she just, it's like they magically appeared on the page. They just popped out on the page. <laughs> and the person that she did it for got to choose what she did. She does uh, heads of animals. She would say, what animal do you want? And uh, she goes and sketched it sketches it, but the person that she does it for gets to choose what type of an animal that they want. So I'm just going to put a little orange on here. I thought I got some sponges out this morning. Yeah, well, we'll use this one. I know I did. Now I put them back over on the other side there. All right. You know, I almost feel like I can use this before I throw it away because I clip it off and it's stiff on this side. But let's just get every ounce of oomph out of this A sponge. They were gifted. These sponges were gifted to me by Petals. Let's just use her up. So I'm just going to do um, 
pilgrims and Indians. And that makes me think of the first Thanksgiving over here in the States. But what it really makes me think about is what the pilgrims had to go through to get to a new land and, and uh, settle it. And, you know, they were starving. They'd already lost a lot of people in their colony. And uh, the natives, the natives took pity on them <laughs> and uh, showed them how to plant their, their corn and everything. And then when Thanksgiving came and they had a feast to be thankful for their blessings, the pilgrims and the Indians got together and had a feast. And, you know, yeah, we have this history behind us where, um, and I would say again, when you see out on the internet somebody saying, almost talking down Thanksgiving, like, yeah, you had a feast and then you killed them. <laughs> You know, ignore that. And uh, it's almost a way to um, destroy Thanksgiving in a way. And I would say, if you see something like that, move on. Because Thanksgiving is really more than that. It is a day when they found peace in a world where there was hurt and pain and suffering and uh, a lot of, of, of uh, bad things happening around them. It was a day of blessing and thanksgiving. And that's what we need to find in our culture today. Uh, in all parts of the world, we, got, we have things going on. <laughs> things going on that just aren't pleasant. And if we can just find one day to stop... Stop and say thank you. Stop and, and uh, be grateful for what you have. And that's as much in your personal life as in, oh, where's my heat gun? As in, is my phone even plugged in? <laughs> I don't think I plugged my phone in this morning. Let me plug my phone in. So that's my little Thanksgiving spiel this morning. I've said it before is when you see somebody tearing down the United States because of its history, just consider the source and count your blessings. We're here because a lot of people sacrificed for us. I'm looking for my heat gun. It's here. It fell. Put my phone back up here. So, and I like to think of Thanksgiving as being one day when maybe they just got together and had turkey, had pumpkin pie, got along with each other, had a little peace. So what am I going to do on here? Well, I painted the background. And uh, I think I'm going to draw. I'm getting out my markers here. Some of these markers are totally dry. But um, what I want, and I'm trying to think of how to do it on here. I think I'll just draw it free. I want a, I want a pilgrim. A little pilgrim man. And we used to draw these in, uh, in, in school. You know, draw your little pilgrim man. And he has a square. And... Uh, this is, he's got kind of a square white collar and a belt. I call them Santa Claus belts. 
Mm. Let's give them a, a couple arms. And I'm just going to draw them standing straight. And let's give them some. And they, you, they wore... Um, they wore their britches to their knees, and then they had these buckles. Really kind of interesting that, I don't know, they wore buckles around their, here's their knee. And then they had long sock things. I don't know why, but that's kind of was their style of, and then they had buckles on their shoes. No, I just put a shoe on him with a buckle. All right, there he is. Just a quick little doodle sketch. And uh, I'll probably come back and refine him. And then we've got the little pilgrim lady. But I want to get the Indians in there too. So let's see. How am I going to get all of these books in here? Um, let's see. Let's put the, let's put the Indian chief... Well, let's see. We can just do the two men, and we'll put the ladies behind them. Um, let's do the Indian. And he's got a... Uh, shall we make him a chief? Let's make him a chief with a headdress. With the feather headdress. And I'm kind of just sketching him as, you know, how we used to do. I'm on to that. In the, the one I gave away, I drew that turkey... You know, you put your hand on a piece of paper like so, and then you trace around it, and then you make your your thumb is the head of the turkey and your fingers are the feathers. And we put those on the windows in grade school. Well, we also did cowboy, uh, cowboys and Indians, pilgrims and Indians. I don't know. this. His head might need to be a little. And then he has a headband coming this way. And then he'll probably have some sort of a collar, too. And let's just put him putting his hand on his hip. And um, I can't remember what kind of a costume the Indians would have. I think they just had like a round neck. And they have, they have all sorts of decoration on there. And let's see. Of course, they have buckskin. They probably had um, like that. And kind of maybe beads in there. I have to go back and look and see. I'm doing a quick sketch here. And moccasins. I have to remember that um, it was getting close to winter was coming. Winter was coming, so these Indians aren't going to be bare legged. They're going to have on deer skin, and let's put some fringe on him. On him, uh, probably some sort of decorative work in here. That's just a quick sketch. And then back in the background, we're going to put the little pilgrim lady. Back here, she's busy cooking dinner or something. Yeah. We'll just put her in the background here. And she's got a white collar on, too. Now, this is a quick sketch. This is all what, you know, this is this is kind of what you should do in your journal. Not I'm not striving for perfection. I'm thinking about what they went through. And uh, I'm just probably just scribble sketching. Let's let's put a shall we put a turkey in here? Let's put a turkey in here, or or we could put a pumpkin pie, or uh, I'm not sure what I want to put in there. And then back in here is another little Indian maiden back in here. We'll give her we'll give her braids. And I'll put her in here. The maidens are kind of falling in the back, preparing their dinners. Um, I want to put something in here. Turkey, maybe? Turkey, 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 turkey. We'll put a turkey in here. 
<laughs> a gobbler. What do they have? This turkey has a this turkey doesn't have his tail out yet. They're they're thinking about having a turkey dinner. <laughs> Mary's just playing. All right. So that's kind of the sketchy on there. I want to refine it just a little, but I don't want to spend too long in here. This is a journal that, I mean, you want to make it nice. I could go get a picture and, and like this and collage it in and have it nice. But that's really not the point of this. The point of this is just to sit down and have some fun. Let's take my blue. And I'm not sure I put that yellow paint on there. Will my blue turn green? My blue will kind of turn green in a way. Let's, let's do it anyway. <laughs> Just kind of fill this in here. Pilgrims and Indians. <sighs> and it doesn't have to be. Your journal, your art journals, when you're doing it, working in art journals per se, uh, sometimes you're just, what do you want to say? You're, you're getting ideas. You're, not every page has to be a masterpiece. That's what I'm trying to say. Although you would like, like it to be, you'd like to say, oh, here's my art journal at the very end and have, you know, have it be nice. And sometimes, sometimes you just want to sit and get ideas. Oops, I'm coloring out the Indian maiden here. Mm. Just, this is supposed blue, but because I'm doing it on a yellow background, it's turning green. And that's really kind of okay. And they didn't have a lot of fancy dancy clothes back then. Where's my browns? They had brown. I'm just going to make this brown in here, too. They had a brown hat. They were just here trying to survive. They had lost a lot of their colony to sickness and starvation and whatever and the Indian tribe nearby saw what was going on and showed them how to plant the corn and in the new world and helped them and when they had a feast they invited the Indians and it was really a day of peace it was a day of peace, and that's how I like to remember Thanksgiving and all the crap that we have going on in the world. Can we just find one day of peace with maybe our neighbors, if whoever you want to call your neighbor? Let's, let's make this turkey brown, too, except for his red head. Day of peace. Turkey has kind of a tail coming down. Yeah. Pilgrims and Indians. I keep wanting to put these caps on backwards because there's a there's a slot there. And it, it goes way down in there, but this is the side that it goes on. I keep wanting to put it in there. Okay. Let's get some red in here. Let's put some red on this turkey. Yeah. Just get some red in there. A turkey head. Now, this doesn't look like the ones. I was also talking about the Pilgrims and Indians that we put up on the window in our classroom. They didn't look like, the, well, they looked like Pilgrims and Indians, but uh, they were more 
cut out of construction paper and like that. This is more sketchy. This is more sketchy. I want to get the lady behind him. We're just going to kind of put her in here. So you can see there's a lady behind. And the same over here. Kind of lost her in here. She's there. She's out there. She's got she's got uh, braids. Yeah, let's put her down in here. And do not have to be they do not have to be um, beautiful finished pieces you could do like I'm doing this morning and I'm just more or less chattering while I'm doing this more or less chattering let's give them some Pink faces if I can. The Indians are kind of have, we're going to give them pink face. The feathers need to be what? Different colors, orange and yellows. And we need some oranges in here. Uh, oranges in here. And, it, and greens. Going to show up too much, but we're going to do it anyway. And I'm just remembering pilgrims and Indians. Let's see what's going on in chat. Do, 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 do. Hi, Nitsi. Ray says back, back. Hi, Ann, Rhonda, and Painty Girly. Arlene is here. Painty Girly says, I do the same thing with those note marker caps. Yeah, they've got they've got holes on both ends, and it makes you think that you want to put it in the you're putting it in the wrong one hole is smaller than the other, and I always try to put it in the small one first. I don't get the notifications either. I have to look for her and keep checking until she goes live. I don't know what it is with the notifications. I, I give up on understanding what they're doing. I give up on understanding it. Um, I put up a video last night of a sketchbook. I have about 20 more, 20, 20, 26 more views in, in my browser when I go to my creator studio than I do on my app on my phone so you know I just I come to the point that I think they would messed up enough with it that it's all messed up <laughs> you know uh, if you have ever been in computer science and if you've ever worked on on uh, programs that have been worked on and worked on and worked on and worked on Sometimes those the code gets so convoluted. And I'm not saying that that's their case. Well, I guess I am saying that that could be their case. Um, that, you know, you touch it one way and it breaks another way. And I don't know. I just, I give up on trying to understand. It just seems like they try to fix it here and it breaks there. I don't know. I give up on trying to understand it all. Let's see. I, I do need some reds in here, though. I need some more colors. But why do I need more colors? I really don't need more colors. They're, they did, 
they they had color probably in their life, but look, they were they dressed in browns and and whites. I probably need more white. It's probably what I need. Let's get out my white pen. Let's play with it. Let's make some white here if I can. I just feel like playing this morning. I don't really, I'm not trying to make beautiful art. I'm really talking about Thanksgiving <laughs> and pilgrims and Indians and what we should get out of the day. The truth, those people who look forward to Thanksgiving for the dinner and the TV and everything, they're not too far off, if you ask me, because they're taking a break from the world. And they're just enjoying their day. They're having a peaceful day. And that's kind of what they did on the first Thanksgiving. They they took a day just to, just to, I'm going to give him some white in here too. They kind of took a day just to celebrate, to say thank you for your blessings. And, and uh, let's see, she needs a white collar in here. So if you're going to watch football and eat turkey all day, <laughs> I won't hold it against you. It's a day to be thankful. It's a day to be thankful. That's Mary's take on it. All we're going to give him some black moccasins here just because I want to. And I'm not drawing faces in there. I'm not drawing faces. I guess he needs more of a black buckle up here I big white collar here that's probably a little exaggerated black belt my little Indian maiden she's really got lost behind the chief and you know what I'm going to write on here let's write it in here I feel like writing it maybe in white peace 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 and plenty maybe how do I do that? Do I want to do it clear across here? In here, maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. Peace. Let's do it in small letters. Let's make my ampersand up here, maybe. And plenty. I really like playing with this white pen. I kind of messed up my lettering with different styles, but that's okay. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Peace. This and sign. I forgot what an ampersand looked like. I'll go to an ampersand here. Chat. Yeah, that's right. Only it comes this way. It comes this way. 
and <laughs> oh dear me peace and plenty that's all that's all let's clean the tip of this off let's move on to something else this is good enough for me I think I think Peace and plenty. They just found a way for one day, for one day to stop and say thank you. Stop and have a meal together. Stop and count their blessings. Peace and plenty. <laughs> that poor bird's toes. <laughs> Oh dear. And then my little Indian maiden, I feel let's put let's give her a feather back here. I, I kind of feel sorry for my Indian maiden. She's just kind of in the background. She needs a maybe a feather sticking in a band. Yeah. She's back there. My little in my little pilgrim lady's in the background too. Maybe this needs a red. I'm not done yet. That maroon red. Peace and plenty. Find a way to get along for a day with the world around you. And that, kind of saying that to myself. Just find a way. I'm going to quit. I bet I'm done. This is what I wanted to say. Oops, I need to put these away. Let's move on and work on our crazy quilt. Now, if you're international working on this, your challenge is to, to do whatever you want. You get a wild page, a wild card. <laughs> Peace and plenty. You get a wild card. You can find a way to say thanks or you can do whatever you want. I, I don't think international folks celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, I know they don't. They, they don't celebrate um, the traditional American Thanksgiving because that's not their tradition. Peace and plenty. Yeah, I'm drawing. So I have day 12 done. I like my little Indians. Peace and plenty. There. I don't know what that was in the background. There we go. There's my day 12 done. I'm happy with it. This was 11. November means winter. 
What November means to you? November means winter is around the corner, raking leaves, Thanksgiving Day, autumn colors, pilgrims, turkeys, and Indians. That's what's coming up here. And shorter days. Here's my recipe page. I got this off of the ideals, and I have pocket in here where I put the recipes for pie. Walnut pie sounds good. Here's my thank you page. Thank you, Fibsville. And my Claudia napkin, my ATCs. And I've been watching what you guys are doing. You're doing wonderful journals. I really love seeing what's going on with the journals out there. I'm buffering. Why am I buffering? Let's get rid of everything. Yeah. Buffering. YouTube. YouTube. There we go. Oh, video will play after an ad. So, hi, Oja. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Paint Girly. Did I say good morning to you? Maybe the ladies were exchanging recipes. <laughs> they probably did. Do you think that maybe, yeah, that's a good thought. Maybe they were exchanging recipes back there. They were probably in the background doing some of the, well, probably a lot of the cooking. It took a lot of brave uh, bravery to sail across the big old ocean in a wooden boat. I'm not sure I would have done it, especially if my family would have been, you know, they left their family. Um, they left what they knew. They went to this, this new land that, you know, they really didn't know what they were getting into. We kind of do that theoretically sometimes, especially when you're younger and you go to college. You don't sail across an ocean, but you leave your family in a sense. And, uh, uh, you know, you're, oh, you're, you're starting a new life. It's kind of scary in a way. Oh, I showed you these. This was my, more Thanksgiving thank you. This was a Thanksgiving memory. It was pies. I seem to have pies on my mind. Leaves and only leaves. And the autumn colors. This is all about November. What, you know, November, November, November. It has a lot of it. In the States, has a lot of Thanksgiving and yellows and browns and oranges and reds. And All right, enough of this. Let's move on. Let's move on to my quilt because I'd like to get this cover done so I can start binding the journal. I've been binding journals like crazy. I'm telling a story with each little square here. And this is Grandma Mary's apron. This is Aunt Be Bessie's apron. This is Barfy the dog's um, blanket. We washed it good before we put it on our crazy quilt. This is Brother Tom's shirt, fishing shirt that he doesn't like. And uh, the little string of pearls here. I don't know. I feel like I need to make them... I need to work on them. Let's see what happened to my pen. This is the string of pearls that it's not what I want. Um, I guess I didn't give her a name, did I? I might have given her a name in there one, one place. Let's see. It wasn't me. It was, who was it? Somebody in one of my cousins? Or Let's make it my sister. Let's make it my sister, not my real sister. My real sister's passed away, so she probably wouldn't care. But in my fictitious story, it's my sister. Inherited these pearls from her great-great-grandmother. And mother told her not to, we'll call her Sister Sarah. Sister Sarah. Mother told her not to wear those pearls when she went out in boating in the on the Nebraska pond. Well, you know what happened there? You know what happened there? She went out to the pond one day in the canoe. 
somebody in the canoe stood up and it spilled the canoe and she lost the pearls in the Nebraska pond. <laughs> She's trying to, to drag the pond, but you know, Nebraska ponds are generally cow ponds. So if cows got in there, those pearls might have gotten stomped down into the mud by big old cow hoofs. We don't know. But there are her pearls. Who knows? Maybe Brother Tom will go fishing someday and find them for her. We don't know. This is the granny square that belongs to Cousin Neri. Cousin Neri is a... Cousin Neri got her name from Grandma Mary, but she's the daughter of Aunt Bessie. And she wanted a granny square, so I should put some white in here. Let's do that just for the fun of it. Let's get out this paint. Uh, let's put a roll of white. Let's edge it in white here. Let's get it going here. Let's put some white in here. I was looking at in the Fibsville Friends, the quilt squares that are out there are beautiful. My poor little sketches. <laughs> they don't look too cool against all the others. I'm going, oh, well, that's real art, Mary. <laughs> But you guys are doing a fantastic job of the pictures that have been submitted. Beautiful quilts. And those squares are, and I thought it was Arlene that submitted the crocheted one. It was really Violet that put the crocheted one in there. I had that wrong. Leave it to Mary. I'm trying to get out there more often. I, I don't get on Facebook a lot. Hi, Lori. Appointment is at 11. Hi, Kim Marie. Kim Marie. Why did I keep Kim Marie? Kimberly. Kimberly. I had Kim Marie, I guess, on the tip of my tongue. I don't understand where that came from. And Kim Marie is a real, she used to come in here a lot, but she's probably working. The last time I talked to her, she had 357 days, I think, to retirement. So it's probably been a good three or four months. So let's take a hundred and let's take four months away from that. She's probably looking forward to her retirement. <laughs> So, Kim Marie, if you're out there and listening, good morning. But let's say good morning to Kimberly. Yeah. Make these granny squares show up a little more here. I really do like this whiteout pen. I should probably make this come down way down here. I don't know where the, I don't know where it ends. My two and a fourth inches here. Oops, this is going to have to be a little short. Gosh, I wish, I wish I made all of these in several colors. I'd like a black out pen and a red out pen, a blue out pen and a green out pen. And this is going to, get lost in there. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. All right, let's zoom out one so you can see all of this a little better. Did I zoom out? There it goes on my phone. 
So I was working in this area yesterday. This is this is the um, dress border that Cousin Sally, her art teacher, told her to paint on some fabric. So Cousin Sally went to the home ec room and got the dress she was making and painted a border on it. And this is Maisie's apron pocket. We all know little Maisie. And down here is the school colors. I haven't got that true purple and gold yet. It's kind of a, the gold is okay. The purple is kind of, I don't know, not a bright purple like I want. I don't have a good purple. I've got lavender. We got that at the thrift store. So now we're ready to, in here, I did this square yesterday. Let's say that this piece was just a piece that I swapped out with one of, one of the internet swaps that I was in. We swapped fabric and I got this piece in the swap. This piece came from a picnic basket and uh, not a basket. A picnic piece of fabric and it was supposed to be red and white and it turned out orange and black so I tore it up and I put it in my crazy quilt because the world's crazy the world is crazy and so I'm ready to make up some stories about this I've got one two three four five six pieces to kind of talk about and then i'm going to start drawing lace oh this piece really needs some more stenciling yeah. in here this was the log cabin quilt that grandma Mary just put together from her stash. And I think this kind of went this way. This is really graphic here. Not sure why I made that so graphic, but oh, because it was a stencil, that's why. And I guess that's how it is. I don't know if I like this up here or not, but that's how it's going to be. All right, I have to think of what I want to do in here. Let's get out some stencils. Maybe if I do the stencil in here, I'll think of. And then I'm going to put some, some sort of stitching on here. And let's see. I used the washi tape on this one yesterday. I had good washi tape and bad washi tape. All right. I got the zigzaggy here. And I used this one. And I have these. Got a lot of diamonds. I'm going to put some diamonds in there somehow. I don't know. Maybe. Let's do the dots. Got chevrons and circles. I don't know. Maybe I should get out more stencils. We need some flowers. <sighs> Let's paint. 
let's paint this uh Mary's thinking. <laughs> How dare you me? What's going on in chat? What are you guys talking about out there? Hi, Vanessa. Good morning. Mary's painting on her crazy quilt here this morning. I like that bright yellow. And good morning. Ray is in the house. Good morning, Ray. And do you have to be fluent in Latin to sub for it? I think it's pretty neat those kids are learning some Latin. You learn where your language comes from. We have to Google it. <laughs> this paint is really thin. I have to give this more than one coat. Yeah, a thin paint. You can see my brushy strokes. But that's okay. It's okay to see brush strokes. <laughs> Where was I was reading about using a sponge so you won't see brush strokes? And I'm going, isn't that why we use a brush to see the, well, we use a brush to spread the paint, but uh, why do we think brush strokes are a bad thing? I don't know. I think it's a bad thing that this paint is so thin. All right. Mary's mumbling to herself again. What did I do with my heat gun? Keep it in my lap while I'm working on this. I don't think you guys can see how thin it is. What do I have on there? I want something on there. Let's get it off. Yuck. Yeah, I'm liking that better. A little bit more in there. It's a pretty bright yellow once you get two or three coats on it. All righty. And I didn't empty my water yesterday. All right, we're happy with that. Let's dry it a little.
want to go back to this instead of purple. I think I want that blue again. Let's go to that bright blue or brighter blue. Uh, probably got way too much on there. Way, way too much. That's why I did these in purple down here. Yeah. Get too much paint on my brush. So I'm thinking this blue or purple or whatever color it ends up to be. This feels like Rhonda's kitchen. <laughs> you don't like it, so you repaint it. I think I've had this square here, several different colors, Rhonda. Yeah. So I understand. But I like this blue a lot better. But this is probably Grandpa's... Grandpa... Grandpa Tom, I guess we'll call him. Part of his work shirt. Was he a farmer? We'll say he was a farmer. He had a blue work shirt. That's where Uncle Jim got his plaid. He was he that was his shirt. He wore it out in the fields and Word out. Now I like the, I like the blue better. Repainted the kitchen walls like Rhonda did. <laughs> Rhonda comes in and tells us that she's repainted the kitchen walls again. <laughs> I love it, Rhonda. It's the artist in you. It's the artist in you. So this is Uncle Tom's. Work shirt. Grandpa Tom. My dad's name was Tom. I should probably call it Dad's. Instead of Grandpa, we'll say it's Daddy Tom. Because my dad's real name was Tom. That's his work shirt. I don't have a cousin Jim in real life. All right, we'll just leave those two alone. I'm happy with those. I'm happy with the blue up there. And the... This looks, on my screen, this is really the same blue color. This is the same. This over here is the same color as this. It's just the light is flashing it out. And I can't move it. I can't move it because it's taped to the board. That's really interesting how that light is flashing that out. All right, let's hit it with some. So I think I'm going to leave, leave it plain. I'm probably put some pattern on that yellow. But a work shirt is generally just a plain color. I don't need pattern in every square. So next to it, we have this yellow polka dot blouse. Do we make it different size polka dots in here? Can I get that up there? Move. Move. Let's make it different size polka dots. Big ones and little ones. Move over. Move over. I'm going to knock that green off. 
What color shall I make them? Red? Red? Okay. And I don't know who that belongs to. Red, polka, red and yellow polka dots. <sighs> Maybe it was just a scrap laying around the house. Need to be used. Let's, let's use this. I don't know what I did with that little piece I was using. Probably threw it away. Yeah, it ends right in here. So this is just a piece of fabric that was laying around the house that needed to be used. So we just picked it up and put it in our crazy quilt. This doesn't have a a family story other than it was scrap. Oops, it needs some more dots. Let's dry it first. It's hard to put dots up there when I have all that paint there. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Nothing on here is perfect. Okay. So we're going to leave that piece plain. And I'm feeling like I want to do something in here. Just a red. Uh. I could paint that with my paintbrush just as easy. red in there too. Let's get my paintbrush up. Paint this red. This square is red. And I got some blur in there. Gosh, I'm thinking I'm pretty happy with this. It looks silvery to you up here. But it's not. It's kind of a purple red color. I put a red wash over that blue.
I need some stripes. I need some stripes. I've got some zigzags. Let's use those. Let's make some stripes in here. Mary's just talking because she wants to get this done. <laughs> Let's see, that's a dark blue. Um, we could put yellow on it again. That yellow is awful thin stuff, though. All my yellow is thin. Mary gold out again. Mary goat's getting done. Mary goat's getting done. Hi, Judy Wilson. Good morning. You have insomnia? Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome. They're all saying good morning to Judy, and she's saying good morning back. Mary is going to have to write out her mind map or crazy quilt to keep up with it. I am. I was thinking that, too. I'm going to have to write a little paragraph of it for each square. Arlene says, I used to sit and listen to my mama talk about all the things that have changed in her lifetime. She was born in 1901, and it's fascinating to hear her tales. I'll bet it is. That would be, if she, if she's probably not alive today, but if she was born in 1901, she'd be 118 years old. <laughs> Yep, third time is the charm, Rhonda. <laughs> I repaint this as many times. Rhonda comes in here and says, well, I repainted my kitchen walls again. Mary goes, well, I repainted this patch. I think I repainted this patch several times. This one is, is in the running to repaint. I've redone this one a couple times. I like little Mitzi's pocket down here, though. And I kind of like Grandma Mary's patch it's getting done i'm getting yeah after i after i put my shapes on it this morning i'm going to do the stitching and probably put some lace around it too i haven't decided where i'm going to put the lace or how it's or how, what kind of lace it's going to be teresa hi teresa she says she can't stay she's getting ready to go see your mom making lunch for the family and trying to figure out what to get mama for her big 83. Well, happy birthday to your mother, Teresa. She said she couldn't stay, so she might be gone. Kimberly's in the house. Kimberly says, I will uh, direct message it to you on Twitter, Mindy, but we're getting mail at the other house until we sell it next summer. Okay. Tony. Hi, Tony. Thank you. I'm not a quilter. I'm not a quilter. So I figured a crazy quilt would probably be the best quilting option for me. I'd be, I'd be labored this one, this cover. Here it is. What is this? Today's the 12th. I should have this journal all put together by now. And here I am still painting the cover. I'm thinking about putting that same blue that I have here in here instead of this purple. This purple isn't really showing up too well. I think that blue would show better with this yellow that I have going on in here. And it would show there. So that might turn blue, <laughs> Rhonda. <laughs> Teresa said good morning. Uh, and they're saying good morning to everybody out here. I think I'm back up with you guys. Let's go back down here. Kimberly said, I just sang out real loud. Oh, hi, Janet. Janet Nash, good morning. She says, hi, Mary and all. I'm covering my December journal this morning. Cool, Janet. Very cool. All righty. Well, welcome to everybody who's come in. I was going to do 
I was thinking yellow. I was going to do that marigold in here. And I think I'll do it with my red sponge. The thing about doing it down here now is I have to be careful that I, unless I, I mask this out, but I think I can see that white and red enough that I can be careful. <laughs> she said, ha, huh. ha. Huh. But I'll be coming in with, uh, I'll be coming in with my crazy quilt stitching and laces anyway, so. Now, since this is a paper stencil, I can, if I'm good enough, I can hold on to this while I'm drying the layer. I want to put another layer on it. You know, and I kind of like how that red is mixing in with the yellow there. Let me peek. Ooh, I'm liking it. So let's just hold on to my stencil. I don't want it to move. And I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. You can do this with a, a plastic or a acetate stencil. You'll melt the stencil. Mary found that out with her snowflake. I melted my snowflake stencil. <laughs> it's a little hot there. All right, let's go ahead and put another. I want this to be a brighter yellow. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I'm going to do something more with that, but I haven't decided what. So this down in here was, who did I say, Sister Sarah? Sister Sarah's beads curls over here got lost in the ocean. But this is a part of her. This is a, let's just say that was a dress she had when she was a little girl. Or maybe a pair of shorts or something. No, probably a dress or a blouse. Belonged to Sister Sarah. She out wore it and, and uh, Mary didn't want it any. <laughs> Mary didn't want it one of the hand-me-down so it got put into the quilt it got put into the quilt because mary didn't want the hand-me-down what are you doing mary i'm painting this out so it got chopped up and this is just a portion of the quilt you know quilt covers the whole bed now, what do I want? I put that brown, but I'm not sure I want this brown. But we should probably have some browns in there. How about making this brown to coordinate with that brown? And let's make this a different color. Where's my brown? Well, let's add some of this Georgia clay to what? Blue, maybe, to make a brown? Uh-oh. <laughs> There we go. Georgia clay and maybe even a green. Let's add it to a little blue. See what happens. Probably turn gray on me. Put some red in there. Uh, red brown. Let's make this a brown. Oh, I like that brown. I don't think you guys are seeing it, the true color. 
better here because I don't have good lighting. But this is a pretty brown. We'll have to think of probably Brother Tom's britches. <laughs> he outgrew them. He outgrew them. He grows fast. He's a boy. And so we grabbed them and put them in the crazy quilt. That's the story there. And I think, I do think I'll make this, let's mix some more in here. Some more of this red in there. A little bit more red. I don't like this purple color over here. I think I'm going to try to put that brown over there too. I might have to redo my design. We'll see. Yeah, I probably will. Let's just paint it out. It's easier to paint it out and redo it than... So Aunt Bessie's apron is going to turn into something else. We'll put Aunt Bessie's apron up there maybe in the corner. We ripped that piece out. It wasn't working. It wasn't working for us, so we just... Repainted it. <laughs> Repainted the kitchen wall again, Rhonda. Yeah, I like that better. So that means that I'm going to move Aunt Bessie's apron. And I had it that purple color. I don't like it. I got it now, a purple color over there. Do I like that? Now you can see that purple a lot better in there. Do I like it purple? Let's do this square. That needs to be yellow or orange or I need another color. Pink? I've got pink in here. I don't have pink anyplace else. Do I have pink and orange together? Hmm. Pink is the only place on here that I have it. Nah, gold, <laughs> gold, gold. When you can't decide, use gold. We'll use up some of this merry gold here. And gold, of course. Which looks more yellow. Oops, put my hands in that. Looks more yellow than gold, but it goes. I'm gonna dry this. So this is Grandpa's work shirt, and it's gonna just stay blue, pet a plain color. And this is um, Brother Tom's britches, and we put it over there too. And I think I'm going to leave those two pieces plain. And I've got a little plain there. No pattern right in here. A little strip of red. And then I've got a little plain in there. This is the fishing shirt. <laughs> well, let's finish the gold in here. That really is. Let's. I don't know. Let's make it a. Mix a little red with it. Make it a deeper gold. This is a weird piece of fabric. It was hard to quilt this.
I kind of like that color. Yeah. It'll have a pattern over it, so this will fall into the background. I'll let that dry. I think I'm going to leave that brown alone and just leave the britches a dark color. We need some, some that does not have pattern on it. And let's go back out to this. I want that uh, dark English navy. Come on. Getting empty. And let's paint this square again, that dark English navy. I wanted it purple, but it's not. I don't have the good purple. So we're just going to paint that out in here. I'm happy with that. Let's paint. Uh, try to keep my hands out of it. This. This is just so some little scraps of the school colors. Found them at the thrift store. We'll say it's supposed to be purple and gold, but it's really English navy and gold. <laughs> navy and gold. Dark blue and gold. Blue and gold. Blue and gold's fine. I think I'm just to put a few more uh, patterns on here. Aunt Bessie's apron is going to go up in here. What am I going to pattern on? Let's put a pattern on that. Let's put some. Of, I know what I'm going to put on it. Let's put a pattern on, on that. I almost feel like a. Let's see. Where did I do with it? Do I have it here? Did I get it out? I guess not. Let's use this one then. Let's use this one. And we're going to make it a, hmm. I'm loving this color with white, maybe a brighter white. Where's that Georgia clay I was using? <sighs> Georgia clay. No, it wasn't Georgia Clay. It was Mary Gold. Let's mix this up. Yeah, this is about empty. I don't know if I'm getting any more out of it. Come on. I thought I brought out another Mary Gold idea, and I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to cut that bottle open and I, I got all the juice out of there I can get. And I think I got all the juice out of this one. Might be a little bit left in here. So these two will be cut open and maybe, yeah, these two are empty. Good. I want to use it up. I don't want it to sit around too much. So those two are empty. Yeah, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Set it back in the place. Let's get uh, uh, get the marigold here. I have to shake it up. I make the mistake of not shaking these up. Uh, pull tab on these things. I don't know why they don't listen to me. I want to do something in there. I want to do something here. I'm going to leave that plain. I'm going to leave that plain and that plain. I'm just about done painting all the patterns on here. 
I might do something in there. Not sure I like the fish in there. <laughs> Brother Tom didn't like him either. That's why it's in the quilt. He didn't like that shirt very well. Now let's mix some red in there. More red. This gets a pretty orangey color. Wait, I got a lot of paint on that, more than I'm ever going to need. And because I'm going to put some white in it too. A little bit of white. Just a little bit. Lighten it just a little more. Using my paintbrush to mix with. That's really not good thing to do but this is a craft brush now where's my sponge we'll use this one not bright enough. I'll put another layer on it. Okay, let's dry that. Another layer will help it. Yeah, that's better. So this is Aunt Bessie's apron. We gave it a different shape and color moved it up here we used a different apron i'm kind of happy with it got some smudges in there but that's okay so i think i got all my squares oh there's going to do something with this one and this one <sighs> No, let's do some more of these dots in here. Oh, that isn't what I wanted to do. Let's try that. Aunt Bessie wore that apron up here in the corner. She put it on when she went into the art room and she spilled paint on it. <laughs> I 
Now that turned gray. We'll just let it be gray. Sort of a brown color. I kind of like it. I'm going to leave it. So when she spilled paint on it, she wouldn't wear it anymore. So we put it in the crazy quilt. I'm pretty happy with this. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think I've got enough stories on here. I think I've got enough patterns and stories to go ahead and yeah, do my stitches on it. Let's let's use up this paint. <sighs> Shall I use this one here? And my sponge. Might as well use up the leftover paint. No sense in wasting it. Can't get it in there though. Let's I don't know if I can get that in there or not. Don't want to tear my stencil or dictionary page. Okay, we'll leave that. Let's give it a dry. Put my heat gun down. I put my heat gun down someplace.
Oh, we should have just used that to spread out that paint. Well, use up the scrap paint. Except I don't want that in there. Yuck. So why are you painting the dictionary? Well, for one thing, it was I had it around, and I like the thinness of the papers. I like to collage with them. I was when I started this, I was following a a video uh, that uh, Amy at Al John Al John Amy was making painting papers in a book with her scrap paint. And so I decided I would do that. And I just keep putting old scrap paint when I'm done doing like I was done doing this quilt this morning. And rather than waste what's on your palette here, just smear it as much as you can. And then you can come back later and stencil or stamp or whatever on it. Kind of like that marking in there. Let's take my towel and smush that out. I kind of like that marking. I think I'll keep it. Oops. Oh, Harry. <laughs> I'm going to use my elbow to hold the paint. So that's why I use the dictionary. I got more than one dictionary. It could almost, when I'm, when I am uh, painted all of my papers, I could almost use it for a journal. I mean, I've torn pages out of here, but I certainly have a lot of pages left. I could almost turn this dictionary into its own art journal if I wanted. I've torn a lot of pages out of here. A lot of pages that had the little pictures like this, I've torn out. I tear out here when I want stuff. Ooh, I could do some stenciling on that. That one's pretty, though. This is stenciling on that. This is the spider stencil that Arlene sent me. And some gold pages. All right. Let's get... Let's move on, Mary. Move on, Mary. So I'm ready to start painting in my December prompts. I'm going to be using prompts from Mark Mirror's group for my December gem journal. And I'm debating how I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to show every day as I do it. I think that gets kind of boring for, me, for all you guys. I've kind of held up on the November ones. Hi, Kenny. Good morning. Hi, Lynn J. Lynn J says, morning, Mary Nall. She's making her way into work. Lynn J is always making her way into work. <laughs> we get to stay home and play, Lynn. I'm going to move all these paints off of here. Get them out of my way. I'm going to put them over here on my desk temporarily. Uh, I'm going to have to reach here. Hold on a minute. I'm going to my fine line paint applicators. Stencil goes up in there. Using my left hand to put those things there. It's kind of close that lid, Mary. Some of these are empty. That yellow and red one can be squished out. So I might practice, maybe I'll get that dictionary out again, practice a couple of stitches before I actually put them on my journal. I did that one crazy square and I didn't like it. I did not like it at all. Let's get my fine line paint applicators out. It's a yellow and red, black and white, blue, yellow, 
and green. I think that's all I have filled. I've got one over here that's empty. Okay. I didn't do anything like that. I guess I'm going to leave it just like that. We'll call it a... I didn't, name, I didn't make up a story for this piece. Did I? It looks like part of a pebbles sidewalk, but it's fabric. Lynn says, Kimberly says, Lynn, be careful out there. Arlene says, Shannon Green got me into painting in an old phone book, the excess paint. I love to use those painty paints. Yeah. No sense in throwing away all that extra paint, is there? Just smear it on a page and come back and stencil and stamp on it. Mary, it's really coming together beautifully. Thank you, Kenny. I appreciate that. Um, I could move it up just a teeny bit, maybe. No, it's pretty well stuck onto that. Um well, you can see right in here, that's really the bottom. There's just a teeny bit more down here at the bottom. Maybe in it. Well, can I move this? Um, let's see. Camera settings here. Uh, if I want to. Come on. Give me my cursor back. I think I go that way to move up. Did it move up? It takes a while for me to see it on my phone. Oops, it moved down. So I have to move up one and then another one. Come on. Up one. Did it do twice? One more. Come on. One more. Come on. I'm waiting. Sometimes I reach the limit and it won't do anymore. But see, all this green up in here will be cut off. It'll be cut off right up at the top here. I'm going to have to move my camera, I guess. Hold on a minute. Uh, let's see. I want it to move this way a little. Did that work? Yeah, oops, that might have been too much. Now let's move it back a little. It's hard to get it all in frame. Well, I can come out one. Come on, come on. Oh. Now it needs to go this way. Has to do with how many settings your camera has and uh, how high your camera is and everything. Well, the dictionary is perfect for those uses. Yes, it is, Kenny. Thank you. Arlene, the one with no story looks just like my PJs. Okay, Arlene. <laughs> we won't call them your PJs. We'll call them, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll call them Cousin PJ's PJs. This one with no, with no uh, story is Cousin PJ's PJs. Thank you, Arlene. You told us the story. We won't call them yours. <laughs> They're so old that I had to patch them together. Well, there's we could put a patch on there. <laughs> it's got a little spot on here. He he wandered into the art room while while Aunt Bessie was throwing her paint around. She's got a smear up in here, but she he got it got in her way there. <laughs> he just wanted to ask her a question, and she had a paintbrush in her hand and she flung it around just to turn around and see who, who she was talking to. Now this is really brown dots on a, on a yellow background here. 
when it's so far out, you can't really see the pattern in too much detail, but you can see the whole piece. And you can see my fine liners over here. So I think, though, what I want to do before I put any... Well, I wanted to look at chat here first. I get sidetracked. Um, Shannon Green, I got that. Lynn J said, good morning, everybody. Kimberly says she's on the phone and hers is buffering a little bit. Oh, no, Kimberly. Kenny says her internet is bad today. Kenny says, Judy. Kenny says, be back. Coffee. Hi, Kenny. Judy came in. They're saying goodbye. Nitsy says, hello, Kim Kimberly. Love you back. Judy, I try to help where I can. Go to Dollar Tree, Judy, and buy gloves and cut fingers off. Done. Hmm. It's so nice to looking out right now. We had sleet and snow all night. Oh, Arlene. So everything is white and beautiful and nobody is out. It's peaceful. Judy says, so far I've chained 30 with 30 single crochets. <laughs> what are you making, Judy? Let's see. If I get this up... If, I, if you get behind, Judy, just cut off the tip of a mitten. <laughs> fingerless gloves. Oh, dear. Yeah, fingerless gloves for Nikki. Crocodile stitch. Cool. You kind of, I have to look at your 30 chains with 30 single crochets because that's kind of, I was working on that Christmas stocking and I'm still working on my knit, my scarf. I was working on it last night. I've got about a foot and a half to go on my, I'm knitting a scarf because I'm a beginner knitter. It's coming out pretty good, but I kind of don't want to work too much on the Christmas stocking. Painty Girl sent me a pen for an easy Christmas stocking, but I don't want to work on that full time until I get my scarf done. So I've got the cuff done. <laughs> That's where I'm at on my stocking. Was a great game on Sunday. Oh, we're talking Green Bay Packers. Judy says, when well, I'm going to put up the card table in the living room, so I'll have more room to craft. You know, Judy, that's interesting because my brother uh, puts up card table to work his puzzles on in the in the dining room. We really don't. There's, you know, it's just my brother and I here, so we don't use the dining room. We we eat out the kitchen, <laughs> but. Uh, um, he puts up that card table next to the dining room table and he works his puzzles on there. And I, I said to him, I said, you aren't working any puzzles this year. Why don't you get, he kind of, he's, he's four years older than I am. So he's kind of retired and, you know, sometimes he mopes around the house. I'm going, why don't you just go work some of those puzzles? Uh, you know, that's what he says. Uh. So I was thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that card table out. And he has this big cardboard piece he puts on the card table, great big square. And I'm going to get that out. And I'm going to dump out all those card, those upside down. And I'm going to challenge him to put that puzzle together upside down so that I can paint on it. And I think he'll do it. Because he, he, whenever I tell him, whenever I ask him to do something, like I had that little pot that I needed the foot to glued on. He does real good at put, you know, like he, I just asked him to do it and I set it there and I came out in the kitchen one morning. It was sitting in my, on my place where I sit and it was all put together and glued together. So I'm just going to say, why don't you put this puzzle together for me upside down so I can paint on the back of it? Or you can paint over the front. No, because the front's glossy. <laughs> So I think that you're talking about your card table, Judy, reminded me that I wanted to do that. Your favorite is little red flowers up at the top. That's Grandma Mary's apron, Kimberly. I don't think I, I think my favorite is kind of Macy's pocket. I like Macy's pocket. But now I'm, I'm beginning to like PJ's PJ's now that Arlene's helped me tell the story of them. And I kind of like the design on this one. I really kind of like them all. This one, I feel like I should paint out again, but no, I think I'll leave it like it is. All right. So what I want to do is let's grab this dictionary. And, oh, I put it too far behind me. I better get up and go get it rather than try to reach for it. I tip my chair over and fall. 
you guys will hear more than a craft lunch. <laughs> so let's practice some stitches on this ugly page here. Let's see. Shall I practice with the, the white? I kind of want to save for the lace. So we're just going to put that over there. Let's practice with, um, shall I practice with some blue? Where would I put blue on here? Well, <laughs> let's practice with some yellow. Let's practice with some yellow or red. And when I get these going, I just kind of squish a little out. See, like it squished out on there on me. Just kind of squish a little out to get it going. So I can do the zigzag stitch, which let's do it this way. Let's make a sampler. We can do the zigzags like this. I'm going to do a little sampler stitches before I start out here. All right. I can do the cross stitches. Let's do the in yellow and red just for the fun of it. I can do cross stitches. You guys are going to how many stitches can Mary remember? <laughs> Mary doesn't know herself. Let's do some cross stitches. Which really, if you do them close together, they little diamonds. I might have to get out a stitch dictionary. Yeah. All right, and I remember the queen stitch pretty easy. I don't know. There's, of course, there's the French knots. The French knots are just kind of like little knotty knots. They usually go at the top of something, though, but we'll put them in here. Um, there's a herringbone stitch, which kind of, if I remember right, it's kind of a, well, let's call this a, uh, a long cross stitch. What happens is you make an X and you have a short one to start, but then this one goes clear across to that one. Like, boy, it's hard to, like this. It turns out looking like an X, but it, it well, let's, I'm off here maybe. It's hard to draw it. It turns out look, looking like a row of X's, but it's really a long stitch. That might not be a very good representation of it. I know what I'm saying, but... Um, of course, there's the satin stitch. I don't know if I'll put that on there. There's a... Let's see. Let's do kind of like a wheat... Well, we'll call this a... We'll call this a queen stitch. It kind of goes... It has... Uh, um, to paint it, it's a little bit harder because you can't pull the threads. But it has five stitches, and then it has a center stitch that comes that way. So, and then it comes that way. There's a center stitch, and that way, and then two in there, and it has a stitch like that. I always like the queen stitch. It looks better in thread than it does on paint. Like that. Maybe it'd be better if I go like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Yeah. These make some nice borders. <laughs> like that, like that, like that. This is just uh, playing with my stitches here. Oops, I got too many of them. That's a bad queen stitch. This one's probably the best. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying to me. Oh, Boomer, hi, Ham. I'm wondering, Arlene, you're a 276 time visitor. <laughs> I 
Just be good. That's all we ask. Can you imagine if we got Mary and Dee Dee together with their laughs? It would be a hoot. Thank you, Arlene. Yeah, I, I kind of wondered <laughs> myself. Uh, you never know. You never know. All right. So let's see. I want to go. I want to go out there, and I can't. I don't think I can really show it because I don't want to get in trouble for. I want to look at some sample stitches. Let me do a plus on here. Uh, ah, new tab. Um, I want to get an idea of some stitches that I can do. I forgot a lot. I remember the cross which, the cross stitches, but uh, images. Oh, we go, oh yeah, here we got the blanket stitch. Let's do the blanket stitch. That's an easy one to do. Blanket stitch. You try to keep the blanket stitch the same height and width. I'm not so good at it, but I know what I want to do. And kind of review my stitches before I do. Oh, there's this feather stitch. Hmm. Let's look at this one. There's this stitch too. Let's do this. Let's see. They run a they run a they run a piece like this. And then they do five. One two three four five one two three four five something like that there let's change to yellow i don't want to get my nozzles all messed up Ooh, this one's pretty oh yeah there's the chain stitch that's an easy one Ooh, let's do the chain stitch. Uh, just do a loop-de-loop -loop inside of each other. And when I'm painting these on, I don't really care if they, you know, I just get the idea. But... I wish I could show this to you. I'm kind of hesitating showing it to you because it's, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> but this is pretty. They have a, they have a piece that comes up this way and then this way and like that. And then they have their little flowers coming out, their little but am I a far enough? Little bud flowers come. Probably should have been the opposite. I have little flower buds in there. Only they have more of them together. Something like. Something like that. And then they'll have little leaves on there. Green. I'll have to remember that one. Ah. Uh, Let's go to something else. I'm just kind of looking to see what I can get. Oh, here's a sampler. Yeah. They have stitches like this. Where you big cross stitch like this. Oops. Big X's like this. And then they come up here and they cross these. Up in here. And they probably they cross these down here. No, I don't know. Do they cross both of them? Yeah, they do. So they cross them like that. I'm trying to draw this and look at the same time. So I'm just getting an idea. So that's an idea. 
and there's a stitch that goes this way and then they've got all the lines coming this way and of course this is crooked that they got lines coming that way that's one to remember and uh there's that long stitch they got a stitch that comes across this way and then it goes like this i'll have to remember that one what else do they have the blanket stitch and then they've got some inverse stitches where they do loops Let's get out the yellow. It's kind of dark over there. No, just do some loops. I get a, a line here. And then they just do little embroidery loops. Now, the one I looked at just had little loops that way, but you could do them this way, too. And what else is here? Uh, there's some here where they twisted their threads together. Mm-hmm. Of course, there's the plain running stitch. Or let's get out the black. There's the plain running stitch. Uh oh, I might have to put some more black in here. And then there's the upright cross stitch. The upright. Stitch cross like that. And then they have that stitch where they draw a line and uh, what, how do they do that? like this and then they put little yellow dots that kind of gets involved makes little flower type things I'm not sure if that's exactly how they do it but that would be fun to do decorative stitching Glad I'm practicing. <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe only two. No. I got to decide how I want to do it. Maybe there's just three in a triangle that way. I'm practicing. I'm deciding what I want to do there. Something like that, I think, up here. Only they do it in different colors. Let's see what else is going on out there. Uh, they got the stem stitch, which kind of looks like a rope. And they did theirs in separate colors. So let's kind of do a, like this. And then they came in with a different color on the, in here. What I'm looking at does. I 
That's kind of pretty. Uh, what else can I use? There's a lot of stitches out there. Let's see. I'm looking. There's a lot of satin stitch that I'm not sure I want to do. There's this stitch here that kind of uh, kind of the same thing as a stem stitch, only it's closer together and it's all one color, like that kind of. And there's the stitch that goes like this, only they did theirs up and down. The stitch that way and then it kind of comes out like this. How's it going out there in chat? Is everything going good? I should look at chat here. <sighs> Anne says, good morning, Rhonda. A page in my art journal, Journey of Hearts, wanted to use the black for chains and have to use a marker instead. Oh. Hi, Nettie. Good morning. A bus flipped on its side. With four kids on it in Illinois. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Black metallic is lumpy, watery, and reeks. Oh no, Mar Arlene. The teachers want to <laughs> the students did. <laughs> so I had to go teach Latin. Mary, you could do some embroidery rubber stamps. Oh, yeah, you could. You could. That I might try that. That might fit good on my um, Pintel erasers, Rhonda. That's a good suggestion. I kind of like that. And said she taught in up. And said she used to love snow days. Kenny says I understand morning times are hard on the eyes. Plus my name, I'd love by autocorrect. I'm buffering. And says, I don't ever remember seeing a ham before either. Yeah. I think he was here to cause trouble. Arlene used to wrench. Arlene used to wrench. <laughs> Arlene said, don't make me get out my wrench. <laughs> he said, I've been in here. I'm number 276. Arlene bopped him one. <laughs> I'm getting rid of my notifications here. Uh, let's see. They took the kids to the hospital just to check them out, but they were all okay. Well, that's good news. Was it a snow day back there, Nettie, in Illinois? Are they having snow back there? I'm going to look for a few more stitches here. I got the chain stitch. Where did I put my chain stitch? Here. It's kind of a poor representation of it, but it will remind me of it. You could put some flowers in there, embroidery flowers every now and then. I might do that. Ooh, there's this one. Well, you do a, a cross stitch. Like this. And then you come in and, and well, actually, you need more than one. Like this. And I'm going to run into the back kind of like that. And then you come in and put the little lines around them like that and 
there's a lot of flowers made out of satin stitch on here that I'm looking. I see the hard hangers. There's a satin stitch if you want to do it. It's just a bunch of upright lines. That might be okay. Yeah. You know, I don't have to be... Oh, there's the long and short stitch. I don't have to be perfect on here. You know, this isn't like it's... Let's do the long and short stitch here. There's long, short, maybe a medium long, short, medium long, short, medium long type thing. Like that. And you could put some dots on those and make flowers out of them. I think I'm done. Let's, let's, uh, I don't want to belabor this too much. Rhonda says they got over eight inches snow. It's been a long time getting that much snow so early. Wow, Rhonda. Even if you get off work, there's always something to do at home. <laughs> Rhonda says she can't complain. A snow day, so that means work in the house day. Oh, dear. Yeah, that must have scared those kids, Kenny says. Yeah, I agree. That would scare me. That would scare me. Glad the kids are okay. I hope they can calm down. I remember when I was a kid, we had this, think of an old small town, little 1950 school bus yellow one though and uh well, danny was our bus driver we like danny he was a cool guy all the kids like danny but um well our school was here and the bus the north route would come out this way and they'd go all around this way and we lived right over here so we were kind of toward the end of well there was a west and then it'd come back that way so we kind of lived um, if this was north, this would be northwest. We lived about three and a half miles, but we had to go this whole circuit to get home. And uh, we got, the bus got around this way, and it took a kid, left off the kids over here, and it was coming back this way. And it was winter. I don't think it was snowing. It wasn't snowing, but he came this way, and the wheel fell off of the bus. <laughs> they must have changed the tire and not got the lug wrenches on very good or something the lug boats and uh um he had to go get help the bus driver had to go get help and this was when my i was quite young uh, my older sister was still in school and uh she took all the kids she kind of took control because she was the oldest one there of course there weren't a lot of kids left on the bus but uh we're country we're out in the country and there's this pasture over here with snow and we went out over there and made a fox and goose ring and played fox and goose <laughs> until they came and got us. So I'm going to do, let's do some yellow on grandpa's. Let's start here. And let's start with a simple, uh, maybe a zigzag, just to start simple. Uh, And we might come in and put some dots on that zigzag. And it's a pretty big zigzag, isn't it? What time is it here? It's almost seven. And do we want to do zigzag over there? We don't have to put zigzag all around it. Now let's put, let's do some little, can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, I guess you can. I could zoom in, but I think you'd only see a portion of it.
I don't think I told a story with this one up in here with the red dots. All right. I get my towel out here and put a little sanitizer on it. Where's my towels? No. They're running away from me. Oh, I'm kind of happy with that right now. <laughs> I got a start on it. And let's put some red. No, we want something that show up better than red. Let's put some. Let's put some green on it. Uh, but I don't want green dots. Let's, get, let's put white. We could put yellow, but... Oh, we could put... I'm thinking what I want to do here. Let's see if I can put some little green in there little green stitches right in here. I don't want to get it too convoluted. I think that's what happened with my other piece. And I ended up not liking it. And let's put some green running stitches in here. All right, and So Grandpa's shirt got embroidered. And I think I'll do in black over here. I think I'll do the blanket stitch over in here. Only I'm going to do the black. I'm not going to let the black run into the... Let's see. Let's do it this way. Uh, maybe black is the wrong choice. Maybe I should use yellow again. Green. Let's do the green. And so that I can use the... Grandma likes all her different colors. Except, well, it really isn't Grandma doing this. Oops, that one's pretty big. Probably make two out of it. Not sure green was the right choice, but it is what it is. We don't have to do them all the same color. Uh, the blanket stitch coming down this way. And if you're real particular, you'd make these all the same length and height and turn the corners right and... <laughs> 
Mary's a distressed quilter, I think. Yeah. I don't do much quilting. I'm not a really a quilter. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. White. <sighs> I don't know if I use white. Let's do this. Let's finish this corner in here. We're going to work on Aunt B Bessie's apron. We're going to stitch it in. And. Uh, I think I'll just do some cross stitches here. I might go back in and put some dots or something in them here, but let's just do some cross stitching in here. And it doesn't have to be, I'm not striving for beautiful, perfect cross stitches. I'm just painting. That's good, Aunt Betsy says, because you messed it up. That's okay. You got paint on it anyway. So, and I think my, I think my paper runs out right in there, at the end of my paper. But yeah, this does need something in the center of it. Maybe yellow. Maybe just some yellow dots in there. Come on, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. You guys probably can't see it. It's too far out for you. But I can't work on the whole piece with it being zoomed in. If I get white on there, it's going to be like this granny square down there. It's going to make everything pop. I guess these are French knots. I've never heard of putting French knots at the end of a blanket stitch, but that's what I'm doing. I should probably let it dry. Oops, got my hand in that. Know what I want to do here. I'm going to just outline it, I guess. This is not black. This is a dark blue that I'm putting down. I thought it was black, but it's really a dark blue, which really is kind of okay.
Um, no. I keep going back to my yellow. It's a crazy quilt, so I can get as crazy as I want on this. Right? I don't know how much you guys can see of what I'm doing. Maybe I'll zoom in one. Red doesn't show up very good on there. <sighs> Uncle Jim says, that's okay. Just cover that whole shirt up. I won't mind. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's do that in here, too. Can we do it around that way?
I like the white stitches show up. I'm tempted to do it all in white. I don't think my others are showing up too well, but I, it's hard for me to see on my camera. On my phone. I'm going to let that area dry. Let's work over here. Let's take a break. I like this area in here, but it doesn't show up too well on my phone. And then, and those reds, those reds should be white. Red was not a good choice to put in there. We'll let it dry. The Smithsonian's main building looks like a castle. Yes, it does. Gold is Mary's signature. <laughs> Hi, Sharon Marlowe. Good morning. Good morning, Sharon. How are you doing? Yeah. Um, uh, Janet. I was watching Janet at Monkey Island Madness. Janet Young do that jelly plating yesterday. Oh, that gold on some of those pieces. She did some black and gold pieces. And just, wow. Wow. There are several castles near D.C., but one of the museums in D.C. is a castle. Ray, we stayed right in, walking distance to the White House. I'm not sure if we went to Georgetown, or at least I do not remember. Thank you. Sharon, I'm not a quilter, so and I'm kind of playing with these stitches. I'm not sure, but you know what? If you don't play, you'll never learn. <laughs> This is a crazy quilt. I love this. Arlene said that looked like a pair of pajamas that, what, you used to have or something, and they're all torn, so I called these PJs PJs here. We moved Aunt Bessie's apron up here in the corner. We put uh, Brother Tom's work birches there <laughs> and there. Uh, use some gold. I don't have any gold in my fine liners. I'd have to paint gold with a brush. Maybe I'll edge it in gold. How is that? Because I can't get gold that gold paint in these fine liners. I have to spoon it in with a little spoon, a little scoopy spoon. It it doesn't squeeze out into here very well. And once I get it in here, it doesn't squeeze out. It's yeah, I, I don't know. I don't like the gold in my fine liners. I might edge it in gold. Aw, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> That's a possibility, Rhonda. Did you ever get to Georgetown area of D.C.? Rhonda Ray, no, it was not that one. Who knows? Maybe it was a big house that we went to see. Hi, Janice. Good morning, Janice. Hi, Sharon. Rhonda, I just thought she might have seen Crazy Rebecca use metallic thread. Really? Yeah, so metallic thread might be nice. I'm, I'm not quite there with my fine liners in it, though. Um. I'll have to practice maybe on something else. I'm not sure I want to do it here. For one thing, I'll mess up what I already have. <laughs> oh, um, let's see. Let's continue. The stitches are really bringing it together. I hope so. I'm not too sure about it yet. I'm not too sure about this, but I'm going to let it dry. This fine liner paint, when I put it on like this, and you put it on in lines, it's quite thick. And it really needs to dry. Because, see, I smudged it over here just with my hand there. It really needs to dry before you do any more. I'm happy with this, but I, I, I don't think you guys are seeing this as clearly as I am in there. Can I? No, I can't zoom that. I'm going to have to play with it a little more. Let's see. Let me look at my sampler here. I did 
I did the zigzag. Oh, I messed up my zigzags. And why did I do my zigzags? I I uh, made zig. Let's do the zigzag again. Maybe we can do some zigzags in there. I'm really liking the white. I'm tempted to do everything in white. <laughs> oh, I'm not liking how some of these colors are white and yellow. The the blues and that. But maybe it's just me. Maybe I want things to pop. Let's use some, I'm calling it black, but it's really a dark blue zigzag. in Because I got zigzag there. So let's do some zigzags in here. See, it's just not showing up like I want it to. But we'll go ahead and do it. Of course, if it was done by a machine, it would be probably be small. Well, it could be long. Let's do a double zigzag in there. See, I just think the white makes it pop. I might end up using white on everything. White and maybe the yellow. Not sure I'm happy with it. <laughs> um, we could do a we could do a curvy stitch like. And let's put some, uh, what did I do? Put the lid back on that? Or is that wasn't the one I was using? I kind of like these yellow dots. I guess I'm going to have to practice my stitches a little bit more with my drawing and everything. I'm going to have to get out the needle workbook and start looking at my stitches. Start practicing. I thought I knew them all. Just goes to show you're not as smart as you think you are sometimes, huh? And I don't know where this ends in here. It ends. The, I could probably feel it. It ends right in here someplace. I kind of like that in there. No, I touch that. Yeah. Flip. Flip. 
Stitch Bible. Yeah. Yeah. I have one of those Stitch Bibles. Well, I did a lot of needlework, but I haven't done it for a long time. I'm trying to remember all those different types of stitches. I got some of the basic ones that I drew out here, but let's do some loopy loops. Let's do some loopy loops. Um, I think I'm going to continue with this white and yellow. And if I want to put accents in it, I'll do it with, with the reds and greens and whatnot. But let's do some loopy loops. Let's just draw a line down this way. And hopefully I can do some loopy loops. without getting my hands in the paint. Yeah. See, I like the white because it makes everything pop. Are you guys seeing those? I don't think you are. Let me, if I zoom out, then you can't see anything but I'm doing loopy loops in here they're they're coming out pretty good just little loops almost and then I'm gonna have to go to a different stitch in here Now, do I want to do them the other way? <sighs> I don't think so. Let's get the yellow out. I th I'm liking the whites and the yellows to make it pop out. I think I'll, I will uh, make those the main colors because they pop. Uh, what do I want to do here? Some more of the loopy loops. Oops. I kind of like that. What else here? Um, I kind of like the idea of doing this. A long stitch. A long cross. And then coming back in, oops, with little ones. Yeah, come on. Kind of like that. Now we can put some red dots in there. Yeah, here comes the morning paper. could do a uh, here. 
there. In there. Let's try the blue. We haven't done the blue, the light blue yet. Let's see how that looks. Neri's just playing around with it. I guess that's what it's for, is to play around with. See what you can get out of it. PJs, PJs. I love it, Arlene. PJs, PJs. Let's see what I got here. That's yeah, pretty. It's going to have to go in the yellow or light part in here. And what are we going to do? I wanted to do a, I wanted to do just a stem stitch. But I don't know if I go in there. See, it kind of blends in. I need bright, bright colors like the white and the yellow. The red a little. Trying to figure out what I was doing. Long way, Mary. Kind of like that. That one is cute. Yes, staying warm. It was zero yesterday morning. Warmed up to 35. It's already 38. It will be 47 today, Lori says. Yay! Good morning, Lori. Did I say good morning to you? Those PJs are in better shape than mine. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe we should put a, t a rip in them. Maybe we should put a rip in them or maybe some stitches, some mending stitches in there. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Arlene. Oh, dear. I'm thinking I can do some red up in here. I don't know how, though. What is, wow, I want to do it. 
Maybe just some. A little bit harder to do with a paint applicator than with a thread and needle. You know how that piece went and got it coming out in here and there that's a weird piece of fabric <laughs> uh. oh just leave it like that I'm going to go back in on all these. I don't like those. Oh dear me. See, I just, that red doesn't show up to me. The only thing that shows up to me are my whites and yellows.
I don't know where it ends here. That's the problem. After I cut it, I'll probably have to go in and fix all of that. Get in there. I wanted to do some lace, but I think I'm going to wait and let all of this dry. I think I'm going to wait and let it all dry. I think I'm staring at it too hard. I might have to think about this a little bit more. I'm not unhappy with it. It's not quite where I want it yet. Well, let's put some, some of these caps back on my paint applicators. As long as the power stays on, I'm good, Arlene says. And I can't do any more art today because my tabletop is wet. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get out and study my stitches again. And maybe some good color combinations. Maybe that's what I need to be doing in my November journal is working out some color combinations and stitches. But just doing this, just doing this is good practice. Just doing this is good practice. Shows me where I need to, what I need to work on. I'm putting all the caps back on my paint applicators. I should take them out in the kitchen and clean them. Just run run a little water through them. They're not stopped up or anything. They're all working good. But if I run some water through them and just kind of bop the nozzle up and down like this, that'll keep them clean. I might do that later. So let's see what you guys are saying to me. Uh, yay, Sharonville. Lisa and Tanya are making journals. Yeah, for the little good golden books today. Yes. Yes, 12 o'clock noon on Lisa Conway's channel. She's hoping that she can watch some while getting her hair done. Ooh. Going to watch the beautician, make the beautician watch you. Yeah, see, I think I'll be cutting this straight across. It'll probably cut off some of this, and I'll probably have to come back in on it, square this up when I cut off my journal. Uh, we'll see. And also, my camera is a little crooked. It's a little crooked in here. So, But I think I'm pretty happy with it. Mitzi has questions. Are you an hour behind Central Time? I think she is. Isn't Mitzi uh, in the mountain time, I believe? I mean, Lori's in mountain time. Yeah, it'd be eight, almost 8 o'clock. Well, no, it's not 8 here. It's 7.40 in central time. Wouldn't it be 8 o'clock? I don't know what they're talking about. I guess I'll stay out it. Lori, Lori is behaving, Mary, <laughs> she says. That's the apple pie quilt square up there. Oh, apple pie square. Is that what it is? This one, Lori? I was calling that a picnic quilt, but I do, or a basket, a picnic basket. Apple pie square, is that what this is? You're talking about this? I like that. Is that what you're talking about? Candy Wappen's camp. Yeah, the camera's kind of catty. Um, but also my, it's taped down kind of crooked too. So we'll get it squared up. Let's see. I don't want to put my ruler. 
I needed 11 and a half or 11 inches. 11 and a fourth would be good. If I come down, see, here's 11 for where my finger is from, you know, you get a little fourth of an inch up at the top where my finger is, is 11 inches. So I've got plenty of room. Maybe even down in here, I've got plenty of room for 11 inches. So it'll get squared off this way, probably in here. I'll probably try to draw a straight line there and then go up. There's 11 inches right from here to the, almost to the top of my ruler. There's always, you know, there's always a little, about a fourth of an inch space before the zero mark starts. So I've got plenty plenty of room to square it up which is good I might put a banding around it just paint the banding around it I would love a dark burgundy banding wouldn't that be nice I'm not unhappy with it. I am not unhappy with it. I'm kind of wishing that I had brighter colors than red and yellows, but it's a very colorful quilt anyway. If I had darker pieces, if I had darker pieces, my, well, I don't know if my red would show up on a dark, dark background. I'd have to have a brighter red, I think. But I don't think my colored threads are showing up too well on here. Like I've got green going down here on the side. And I don't think you guys can hardly see them. There's green thread in there. And I kind of quit doing it because I got some dark blue around Mitzi's uh, pocket. That shows up a little because it's on a white background. But I just went to using the yellows and white because they pop. The apple pie square is here. Well, okay, we'll call that the apple pie square. I like that. And this is PJ's PJ's. I haven't named the zigzag. What did I call this? Somebody's blouse, I think. Sister Sarah. Sister Sarah's blouse. So she has the pearls that are down at the bottom of the cow pond. And we moved Aunt Bessie's apron up here and made that brother, brother Tom's pants britches. Here and here. <laughs> this is just a piece that I got in a trade on the internet in a fabric swap over here. And I think everything else is named. This is just some scrap. Um, Grandma Mary had some scraps and she made a log cabin square. And I just put a portion of it up in there. But I think all the others are pretty well named. These are the school colors. This one kind of got lost in there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I guess I'll just leave it alone and let it dry. I'd like to try to put some lace on it. I kind of went lacy in these loops up in here, but I'd like to get some lace. Um, and I don't know. Maybe I don't need any lace. Maybe with all the stitching, I should just leave it be and play with the lace on another piece. Because I'm afraid I'll mess it up. Maybe I'll put some more stitching in there. Oops. See, that's not dry. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me on a on a cold Tuesday morning. And uh, Lori, go get your hair done. And everybody else, enjoy your, enjoy your day. I'll see you at 12 noon on Lisa Conway's channel. Aw, thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.